Linda Seward was a 46-year-old teacher when she began experiencing knee pain. I was having difficulties at my job, at school, walking down the halls and so on. I felt like I almost needed to hold on to the walls sometimes. Well, the demographic of knee replacement has changed. Half the patients now getting knee replacements are younger than 65 years of age, and most of them are in the workforce. Why don't you let me take a look okay. at these knees here? Linda's very typical of the younger patient who now seeks knee replacement. And the wound is well healed, that's terrific. She had arthritis in both knees. She'd gotten to the point where she could no longer work. Uh, she had had all of the treatments that were the comparative treatments. She made that decision that knee replacement and it was completely something for her that she needed. But is surgery really cost effective for patients like Linda? A new study conducted by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons weighed the cost of having surgery versus non-surgical treatments. The study concluded the average cost of surgery is about $20,000 per patient. But then as we look at how those patients return and interact, whether it's disability costs or whether it's return to work, in other words, value of the um, individual returning to the workforce, we know that the total societal savings is about $40,000. So the net savings is about $20,000 per surgery. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not amazed at how I'm able to move and I feel absolutely no pain, no discomfort. I never take pain medications. It's like I'm in my 30s again. The full results of the study are available in the August 21st issue of the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery. This is Jack Trammell.